both counties when we sat down to talk about it, even from the beginning when we appointed the committees was, it's all about the customer. If anybody loses service, if we cut back on services, it's not going to work. So keep those two things in mind, open mind and the customers. The credit of the boards, I mean, they were focused on how can we save taxpayers money? That was their main focus. Second was we made sure that each board was provided all the information they, they needed or asked for so that there was nothing hidden. There was no hidden, you know, thing that, in the closet somewhere that, oh, Red Rose was doing something illegal or Barta had this problem. And you know, we made sure that both the boards had everything they needed to make a sound decision. Uh, the cost savings, I think, were clear, clearly identifiable and could hold up to scrutiny. Because uh, when we sat down with, with PennDOT and I went over these, I mean, they could see that it was real. We weren't making it up. Uh, it wasn't um, a false thing where I was getting rid of people that didn't exist or, or anything like that. Um, and I think the big thing, too, was the board felt it was done on their terms. Um, you know, when they were making the decision of what to do for the future and they were looking at their options, they felt that, you know, that it was really in their hands what the future was going to be. And, and I think that's probably why it worked. Um, not only did they go along so well, I think they both had the same, same vision for the future to make sure it worked. And the both sets of county commissioners were fully informed of every step along the way. You know, anything that one set of commissioners got, the other ones got. And if they wanted to have a meeting, I had lunch with every single county commissioner in Lancaster to make sure that they knew what was going on, because I was spending a lot of time in, in Reading. Uh, and the other thing, Penn that was very supportive uh, with their funds to help implement it. Um, I think we spent about 150000 in implementing, something like that. And it was nice. A lot of that was legal fees. You can imagine trying to redo all the articles of incorporation and doing all the filings and everything else and coming up with new personnel policy jointly. So that all worked. So that's it. <laughs>